Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So it is weigh in day, we'll talk about my week and we'll talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. Plus when you're seeing today's video, I am officially flying out for my little girls trip, girls weekend in Atlanta. So we'll talk about that and how I'm navigating with starting week six of my eight week cut. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost 140 pounds and maintained that weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability questions or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things as well as come join our Facebook group. It's free. It's supportive. We would love to have you and follow me on Instagram to keep up with me a little bit more day to day. So let's talk about my week, my weigh in, my trip and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I hope you're ready for an amazing weekend. I had a really great week this last week. It was a very busy week. It's always really busy for me to gear up for a trip or a vacation because I have to do a lot of pre-planning, pre-filming, getting my life together before I head out on vacation. Speaking of vacation, I am planning on having my regular content up while I am gone. So you will actually see a grocery haul tomorrow. I have a video coming your way on Sunday. There will not be a meal prep on Monday since I won't be here to film that meal prep. So that is the only video that you'll be missing when I'm gone. And then I will be back on Tuesday. When you see this video, I am actually on my flight on my first flight headed to Atlanta. I'm having a little girls weekend. It is my friend Michelle from Australia's 50th birthday. So there's six of my favorite people, my friends flying in from all over the US into Atlanta to celebrate with Michelle. We rented this beautiful cabin out in the woods about two hours outside of Atlanta and we're going to go in the hot tub. We're gonna hike, we're gonna walk, we're gonna have game night. My friend Henry is a chef. He's gonna be cooking some amazing healthy meals for us. And I'm just really excited, number one, for the downtown time, number two to see my friends, and of course to celebrate my friend Michelle's 50th birthday. I had to be strategic in my packing because there's so many of us that we were limited to carry on size suitcases. And if you know me, if you know me, I have a lot of makeup, skincare, clothing. So that was definitely a challenge for me. I really had to be strategic in what I packed, including makeup, skincare, and jewelry. I had to commit to bringing just one pair of earrings, one necklace, and one ring with me on my trip. So the piece that you see me wearing today is new to my collection. And this is actually the beautiful set that I packed on my trip to Atlanta. This is from the brand Julia. They make amazing, amazing high quality jewelry. Look at the packaging. They have some amazing sets right now for Valentine's Day. So I went ahead and treated myself to one of their Valentine's Day sets. Actually, I told Troy this can be my gift for Valentine's Day and he was definitely all for that. So when I purchased my jewelry set, again, this is one of their Valentine's Day signature sets. It came in this beautiful box. I mean, this is perfection for gift giving. The inside of the box actually has these artificial, beautiful roses that when I first opened it up, I thought, are those real? They are so realistic looking. And then your jewelry actually comes in this beautiful box that says love on the front. It also comes with a matching gift bag. So I decided to look through all of their amazing high quality sets for Valentine's Day. And I ended up choosing this two piece set and I love this. This is called the Donuts of Love Multicolor Sterling Silver Jewelry Set. It actually comes with this beautiful, beautiful heart necklace and this beautiful ring. It's crafted from high quality sterling silver and it has beautiful shimmering stones in multiple colors. Every stone just shines so brilliantly. It symbolizes one's heart being filled with love bit by bit, day by day. Heart is a symbol of eternal love, romance, hope, and happiness. So again, this set is perfection for Valentine's Day. The quality of it is impeccable. It just glistens and glimmers and shines. 
I really love it. I love the different colored stones because I can wear this with multiple different outfits. That's why it was the perfect set to bring with me on my trip. It's going to match all of the outfits that I brought. You don't have to worry about tarnishing, turning your finger green because this is high quality sterling silver. So many amazing, amazing gift sets. And I mean, like I said, the packaging, what a beautiful gift to give to a loved one for Valentine's Day. Or of course, if you're anti-Valentine's Day, treat yourself to one of the amazing Valentine's Day sets from Julia. Necklaces, earrings, rings, they have a little bit of everything. I do have a couple other pieces from the Julia brand and they are exquisite. They, the quality is amazing and they are extremely, extremely long lasting. Not to mention they are very affordable for the quality. So I will link the Julia jewelry website down below for you. I will link this beautiful Valentine's Day set. Again, the packaging, 10 out of 10. Definitely check them out for Valentine's Day gifts for your loved ones or even a gift for yourself. And I'm so excited to wear this the entire time I'm in Atlanta. Speaking of Atlanta and packing, the weather isn't going to be the best there. So I made sure that I packed appropriately for the weather. I do want to take quite a few hikes and walks. So I packed athletic wear. It was definitely a challenge to get everything in a small suitcase, but I'm so grateful for this beautiful set from Julia because this will pair beautifully with everything I brought. Definitely stay tuned on Instagram and in my Facebook group for pictures and updates of my trip. I'm not going to be vlogging, but I'll be posting on my Instagram and in my Facebook group. And I'll give you guys an update and pop in some pictures in a future video here on YouTube. So with a busy week, I made sure that I got in my exercise, drank my water. It is, it was week five of my weight loss cut. I'm just now today entering into week six of an eight week cut. Like I mentioned in my, in last week's weigh-in video, I did an entire video on my cut. I'll link it down below for you if you missed it. But I will say, honestly, it's getting a little bit harder the further into the cut I go. I'm definitely more hungry because I'm in a caloric deficit. I can feel it sometimes in my workouts, especially if I'm not eating the right foods. So when I filmed Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, if you missed that, I'll link that video as well. I talked about how I just really need to focus on a lot of whole real food for the remainder of my cut because that's what actually keeps me full and satisfied. I mean, surprise to nobody, that whole real food is going to keep you much more full and satisfied. So that has been a focus for me this last week and that's definitely helped with the hunger. On my trip, it's going to be a little bit more challenging because my food is actually being provided to me from Michelle and Henry's going to be cooking our meals. Luckily, all of my friends are on a weight loss or health journey as well. So the meals will be healthy. And I packed my protein shakes for my protein coffee in the morning, my protein powders, bars. I made sure that I set myself up with healthy snacks. So worst case scenario, I have foods that benefit my cut on hand. That's one of my big tips for traveling, whether it's local traveling or traveling outside or taking a vacation, pack some healthy snacks so that you can stay on track. I'm not going to be able to lift weight and go to a gym, but my goal on my trip is to walk or take a hike every day. My friend Amy, who I had cosmetic surgery with back in May, she's coming and she's as active as I am. So we've already talked about how we're going to walk or hike daily. And we plan on doing a little video clip update on our cosmetic surgery that I'll be sharing with you in a future video as well. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on. So I'm ready. I'm ready to test out my cut skills during my little vacation. And of course, to see my friends and celebrate Michelle's birthday. So before I talk to you about my way in for week five of my cut, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is if you want to build a new habit, start with an old one. And I really like this topic because habit stacking and building upon habits we already have to create new ones extremely beneficial. Next time you want to build a new habit, pair it with an already existing habit that you're really, really good at. This is actually called piggybacking. And the definition of piggybacking is when one desired habit or action is linked to another habit or action you're already doing regularly. If you keep doing the first thing, you'll likely keep doing the second. Here's some things you can try to figure out a new habit, how to piggyback it with an existing habit. Think of things you already do consistently. Things like brush your teeth, step on the scale, or check social media. Close your laptop after work or do your PM skincare routine. Choose one that will be your cue to practice a new behavior. So for example, right after stepping on the scale, the existing habit in the queue, I'll drink a glass of water, the habit you want to start. I really like the idea of taking a habit we already do and picking it, but piggybacking it with a habit we want to do. So in this scenario, maybe you want to drink more water. So every time you step on that scale, you drink a glass of water. That will get you in the habit of drinking your water. I promise you habit stacking, piggybacking, it works. What do you do when you get in the car? 
you buckle your seatbelt. What do you do when you finish dinner? Maybe it's tracking your food. You're already piggybacking. You're already taking existing habits and building new habits. That is definitely something to focus on on a weight loss journey. And once you do a habit for about 15 to 21 days, it's built into your brain. It's ingrained in your routine and it becomes a new sustainable, consistent, healthy habit. Every behavior needs some sort of cue. Let's go back to eating dinner. So you eat dinner, that cues you to track your food. You get up in the morning, that cues you to brush your teeth. You get into your car, that cues you to put on your seatbelt. Every habit needs a cue. Once that cue becomes consistent, that new habit is developed. Speaking of habits, let's talk about three fast facts from Weight Watcher. Number one, habits always have a cue that sets the behavior into motion. Number two, by turning on action you already do into a cue, you can create a new habit. And number three, simple and specific behaviors are more likely to turn into habits than complex behaviors. Just like a weight loss journey, keep it simple. Baby steps. Don't overwhelm yourself. Start with small habits that you want to form. Use an existing habit to cue that small habit. And I promise you in no time, it'll be a consistent habit for you. I'm really glad that Weight Watchers check touched on this because healthy habits are the key to weight loss and to keeping that weight loss off. Let me know down below what are some of your consistent habits, healthy habits you already do, and what is one new habit that you want to implement using these techniques. For me, it's water. Now, I do drink a lot of water, but I really like to regularly consume a gallon of water every day. My habit that I'm going to be working on is as soon as I finish a meal or snack, I'm going to drink an entire 40 ounce Stanley cup of water or 32 ounce Lululemon water bottle of water before I have another meal and snack. So in order for me to have the next meal and snack, I need to consume an entire cup or water bottle of water. That way I'm making sure that I'm getting in my hydration. So using the eating as my cue to consume the water. That's gonna be my goal this next week. Now let's jump into my weigh-in. Like I said, I just finished week five of my eight week cut. I am officially today starting week six. This week is going to be challenging. So stay tuned in next week's weigh-in for an update. This last week was also a little bit challenging as well, just being extra hungry, extra busy. But because I focused on whole food, I found it to be a little less challenging than it could have been. I'm definitely noticing changes in my body. I talked about that in last week's weigh-in. At the end of my cut, I will be sharing an update with you guys, including pictures, so that you can see kind of what the cut did to transform my body. As of last Friday's weigh-in, I have lost 1.4 pounds total on my cut, which honestly, like I've mentioned, is even more than I expected. I wasn't sure that I was going to see any actual fat loss or weight loss on the scale. So I'm really happy with the 1.4 pound loss. And again, focusing on whole foods this week helped put the hunger at bay, but I also am due to start my cycle tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Being on my cycle on my trip, not ideal, but I've been feeling a little bit bloated, especially earlier in the week. My weight definitely spiked up a couple pounds earlier in the week, and that bloat has kind of stuck around. That's another reason why I need to focus on drinking more water because because it flushes out that bloating. I started feeling better towards the end of the week since I'm getting closer to my cycle. That bloating, that, PM, that PMS hormonal bloating typically goes away as I move closer to starting my cycle. And since it's starting tomorrow, a lot of that bloating has went away. So when I stepped on the scale today, I actually maintained my weight. I weigh exactly the same as I did last week. So I've still lost the 1.4 pounds on my cut. I Even though I was up a couple of pounds this week, that went away and I maintained my weight, which I'm thrilled about. That's definitely a great start to move into a little mini vacation. I really attribute that to eating a lot more whole food and a lot less processed food. I think that really helped with the bloating and inflammation that typically comes from more processed foods. So I'm really happy with the maintain. I'm really happy with my minus 1.4 pounds on my cut and we'll see what week six brings. Let me know down below, how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? What are some of your healthy habits that you already do? And let us know one habit you want to work on this next week. And if you enjoyed another weigh-in video, give it a big, huge thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Definitely check out Julia Jewelry down below, again, for a gift for yourself or a Valentine's gift for a loved one. You will not be disappointed. I'm really in love with this set and I can't wait to wear it my entire vacation. And of course, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, my Facebook group, and my Instagram are also down in that description box. Happy Friday, friends. Have an amazing, amazing weekend and I'll see you in the next one.